How's everyone doing? I'm here with Andrea or Hi. Ghostface <laughs> right there and we're about to watch Cult of Chucky. Yeah. Are you excited? Yes. And a bit ago we did a full Chucky Child's Play marathon. We watched all the Child's Play movies and uh, we did a video for that. I haven't posted it yet because there's like 40 clips and I haven't edited it all together. <laughs> uh, but we were kind of in preparation for this one, Cult of Chucky, and she had never seen any of the Child's Play or Chucky movies. Nope. What did you think of them? I liked them a lot. Um, my favorite was Bride of Chucky. Yeah, that was actually much better than I remember it being. Uh, I remember it being like a little bit too cheesy, but watching it again now, I loved it. It was cheesy in all the right ways for horror cheese. Now, uh, Seed of Chucky, though, went downhill to me. And I'm wondering if uh, Glenn, Glinda is going to be in this one. Um, I'm excited that Jennifer Tilly's back in here. Uh, Alex Vincent's back in here. Fiona Dorif as well. Again, that's how Curse of Chucky ended. Go watch my review of Curse of Chucky that I did for the last <laughs> one. I can't believe that was, uh, I don't know, like three years ago now, I think. Man, time flies. I felt like it was just last year, but I'm very excited to check out Cult of Chucky. Really cool lenticular slipcover, and apparently there's like a Snapchat thing, which I don't understand why anybody has Snapchat. She's all over the Snapchat. I am not. You are. No. <laughs> but uh, we're about to watch this. Um, I think we're going to put up some Halloween decorations first. And we might stop uh, into Starbucks really. It's, you know, fall weather out now. So I, I want to get like a pumpkin hot chocolate. <laughs> and I might have you try that as well because okay. you like that kind yes. of stuff. So um, if anybody has seen Cult of Chucky, let us know what you think of it. And if you've seen any of the Child's Play Chucky movies, let me know what is your favorite sequel. And uh, we've got the, the snacks. We're going to have the, the ghost peeps right there. Ghostesses. <laughs> Just ghosts. <laughs> and uh, we might pick up some other stuff at Starbucks to see what they have. If they have any, um, you know, treats that we might eat during the movie. But I am souped for this. I cannot wait. It looks like it's uh, going to be set in like a psychiatric uh, like hospital. And I kind of love settings like that. Um, my favorite settings for a horror movie are snowy setting and then like uh, hospitals. Uh, especially like uh, Cold Prey 2 had both. And even Halloween 2. Love the setting that for uh, the hospital. So... Definitely excited. Can't wait to check it out. Awesome. We'll see you in a minute, <laughs> Smiley. <laughs> All right. I think we're going to go get the Halloween decorations down. We got some up already, but I have some of the stuff stored in the attic. But we'll be back in a minute. I got to angle it downward so I don't cut her off in the video because yeah. she's, she's a shorty. Uh, but one thing I wanted to say about Cult of Chucky, I wish Curse and Cult had a wide theatrical release because it's an established horror franchise. Chucky's a horror icon. If the Annabelle movies, all the Paranormal Activity <laughs> movies, all the Saw movies, the Bye Bye Man, all the mainstream Hollywood crap horror movies that are released in theaters can get that kind of wide theatrical release, then the Chucky movies definitely deserve to be. And you were talking about Annabelle and, you know, there should be a good female doll. Tiffany is the freaking awesome uh, horror-themed doll. I love her character. I think she's way better than Annabelle. What do you think about Tiffany? Well, I think so too, but I think Tiffany and Annabelle are different because Annabelle's meant to like Annabelle be sucks. really <laughs> shush, Annabelle's meant to be like really frightening and weird and possessed, whereas Tiffany is like Just comic. Awesome. Well, she's awesome and I like her a lot, but she's like comedic in a sense too. So. I don't know. The Annabelle thing was just never creepy to me. I just didn't... I, it was just a cash grab is what it felt like for me off of The Conjuring. Conjuring 2 felt like a cash grab, too. I wasn't a big fan of Conjuring 2. The first Conjuring movie I really enjoyed, although it was nothing new conceptually. It was very well done. One of the best of its ilk. Uh, but yeah, I definitely like Tiffany, the best female horror doll out there. Creepy dolls are definitely freaky to me. Um, but yeah, like you said, she is comedic and it works well and I don't know I think uh, Jennifer Tilly was the great actress for that choice too so yeah I definitely uh, choose uh, Tiffany over Annabelle any day I just wanted to say I wish this had a theatrical release too so it's kind of like a little bit of a rant but yeah I, hopefully this does well and they can still keep making more of these and they'll get theatrical re releases so many horror movies out there deserve theatrical releases instead of direct to uh, home video over certain ones that do have theatrical releases so and rant. That made you yawn. <laughs> I did. I'm sorry. It's trying to hide my I, yawn. Yeah, I just, I, I just go on on these tangents. And I, I just can't help it. But there you go. <laughs> Cult of Chucky. It deserved a theatrical release. <laughs> here we go. Following oh, lift, him. Lift, lift it up. Give me, give me my best angle right here. So I just want to do a collection kind of real quick uh, look. All over here is 
Criterion Collection, Twilight Time, Disney, um, TV shows on Blu-ray, Steelbooks, uh, Digibooks, Arrow Video, and then some bus sets up all the way up the top. And then I've got my uh, Japanese The Thing poster right there, which I have a couple signatures on. I want to get that signed up some more. And if you turn around, I've got uh, stuff all over the floor, which expect mm -hmm. a lot of videos coming up soon. And then that's all horror Blu-rays, more horror Blu-rays over there, some figures and stuff and box sets right there. And then I've got a pile of stuff over here as well, which most of this stuff is stuff I'm going to end up uh, selling or, yeah. Yeah, just a bunch of stuff, but now let's go into the other room and we will show you the rest of the collection. And over here, we have um, horror DVDs in this section, which I've cut this section down by like in half. This used to be like two bookcases worth. And then over here is just some DVDs. I've got a lot more DVDs on a couple boxes. And then over here are Blu-rays, Blu-rays, some 4Ks, I have more 4Ks in the other room, and some stacks, and then more Blu-rays, and some more box sets and stuff over here. And that is pretty much it. Now we are going to go and get some more Halloween decorations up on the attic. And thank you for being my camera person on that. You're welcome. <laughs> she did, I'll put she it down did, on my job this <laughs> She did, she was like, you're gonna make me do that. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, we're gonna go get some Halloween decoration. Say bye, Regley. All right, then. <laughs> I'm recording it, yeah. <laughs> oh, creepy McGeeky. Oh, that is disgusting. I just put my hand and killed a moth, and it's all gooey. We're going to cut that out, I think. Uh, <laughs> that was totally why? gross. It's part of the great, guts. great action. Oh, that was so it's disgusting. It makes it realistic. I felt the gushiness of that moth. Oh, mm. that was disgusting. Gushy moth. Grody. Ugh. Poor moth. Yuck. I need to sanitize my hands now. Because I'm OCD like that. Yep. How often do I wash my hands? A lot. A friggin' ton. Like a lot. Yeah, when you put it sideways, it's not going to come up good. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. Okay. No. Sorry. I'm, 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 I'm still I'm, learning. She's learning on the job with the camera. Still person. learning. Let's like look at this creepy attic. Yeah, no, I don't. I try not to go all the way deep in there because I don't want my uh, my fat ass to like fall through. So yeah, I just put all. Can the... you stand up in there, or it's just like a crawl space? No, no, you can. It goes far back. Actually, there's a lot of room. Like you're tiny, you could probably like crawl hell no, there, like a little leprechaun. Hell no, I'm not crawling up in your, your creepy attic. Halloween and Christmas. I wish there was a light in here. Oh, there is. Ha! All right, here we go. That is a... Uh... Can you hold that for me if you can? Yeah. I'm just getting a nice view of my butt right now. I did. A total, awesome. total close-up of it. Tub. Let's see what's in this. Hand me the, the camera real quick. Thank you. Thank you, little person. A little help of mine. <laughs> so here we are inside the attic. Um, yeah, you can see there's a ton of stuff over here. Uh, Christmas decorations and, you know, oh, I forgot about these guys. Awesome. What is that? Uh, I'll show you in a second. They're like little... Um, People? Yeah. Yeah, so there's like, I don't know, all kinds of stuff in here. There's a good amount of room in back there. I don't even know what's behind that, but yeah, up in the attic. See what's in this this tub right here. Is this Christmas or is this Halloween? Oh, that's Christmas. There's an R2B2 like a uh, Christmas hanger thing. Put that away for now. All right, and we will. Uh, you hold that now. Okay. And I'll bring these guys down. Huh. Oh, it looked like Chucky for a second. Ah! You grab that one. Yeah. Thanks. Ew, he's like almost my height. <laughs> it's because oh. you're tiny. And I think that's about it. Empty Durafane clean box. Uh, travel bag. I don't remember where that came from. 
Yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. I thought I had more Halloween decorations, but I think that's about it. And we've got a bunch already set up, so... Careful. Yeah. So there we go. We've got some Halloween decorations. Once we put the stuff up, we will uh, do like a little bit of a house tour down there with the decorations all done up. We've got some stuff ready. But uh, these guys right here are pretty awesome looking. What do you think? Yeah. It's a sad uh, jack o' lantern right there. Doesn't want to look at the camera. Nope, he doesn't want to cooperate. You guys are like the same height. <laughs> <laughs> Can be like my child. <laughs> it is your child. Ew. <laughs> but I like these guys. I think they're pretty cool looking. I think this is like his head's not on a stick. I gotta figure out, I think I might put, I don't know if I should put them outside or not. What do you think? Should we put these outside? I'm worried about like the weather and how it might uh, if make it them. it rains, they're gonna get all. Yeah, in. but then like where do I put them inside? I don't know. I don't know either. In your hallway that you have nothing in here. <laughs> well, that's a possibility. But we're going to put the china cabinet over here, so. Yeah, when is that happening? Soon. Oh. Soon. It's going to happen. Mm, All right. It like, really looks like a person. Like, it looks like a child. It's looking right at you, too. It's weird. I don't like it. It's looking right at you. No. You see those eyes? I'm not a fan. There's real <laughs> eyes behind there. It's a ghost. A ghost my ghost? Mm, just a ghost. Oh. All right, we'll be back momentarily after we put this stuff up, and I have to go back in there because I forgot to turn off the light. What's that light? Those light stuff. Does oh, it boo? yeah, it does. Ha! Huh? Thank you. you like Props that. to you. I missed that other uh, Halloween decoration. It looks like a spider web. Yeah, one. it is. There's some more Halloween decorations I forgot about. Oh my goodness, missed that whole stack. I know. There That's you. why I needed you here. I know. I need your tiny little eyes to, <laughs> to peer into them and see. No, that was blatantly right in front of your face. Just looking at you <laughs> again. That's look every time you move it, it keeps looking at you. <laughs> That's not very nice. Come on. It's gonna look at you again. <laughs> it's looking at you. <laughs> Alright, so we started going through the bags, putting stuff up, and I just can't remember where the heck I put anything last year. She pointed out there I used to have a nail here, I don't anymore. Um but yeah, there's just stuff like everywhere. There used to be a thing on this side too, I'm almost sure. But yeah, I feel like a lot of this stuff has been in storage, so they're a little warped. I'm gonna have to like, you know, put stuff and you know, there's my random foot. Yeah, put stuff on top of that one to like flatten it out. There we go. And yeah, there's just like a pile of stuff right there. We got a few things down there right now, a little skeleton frog and bird guy, hologram picture things. A bunch of these ones were cheap. I think I got some of these at the dollar store. These ones might have been from um, Spirit Halloween. And there's another one right there. And there's some inflatable pumpkin stuff. Some, uh, I don't know, pimp glasses for Halloween. <laughs> and we just got a pile of stuff right here. I've got a whole bunch of, uh, there's the 800 feet of spider webs. <laughs> that was from Spirit Halloween. You see the little Spirit Halloween sticker on there. A bunch of those little blood stickers. And just a bunch of random stuff. A little bit of everywhere. We've got these little guys look awesome, I think. Sitting right there. And we put him over there because we couldn't really find a good spot. We've got the other standy guys right there. And I always like this one. I got this at a flea market. I posted a video for that, um, I think, last year. There we go. You get the full effect when it's dark, though. But I think that looks awesome. And that skull. And I don't know. There was a bunch of random stuff. Like I just don't remember where I put anything last year. So it's like trying to figure that all out. And I put this. I, I'm pretty sure I had this guy hang on the front door when you come in. This is from like the Dollar Tree. I gotta flatten them out a little bit. And I'd like to put them back on the door, but I gotta put something to hook it in, uh, the nail or something in there. And this is awesome. Uh, we're gonna have a Halloween party, and I think we're gonna do like almost like a Halloween themed like a uh, uh, prom picture thing. People are gonna take pictures in front of that. I think it looks kind of cool. And we got even some Halloween themed uh, towels. So yeah, we got a uh, randomness going on. A couple little things over here. This actually had like shooter, like shot glasses in there. I gotta find those. They go in the little holes for the skull. And just some random stuff. I think that's pretty much, I'm gonna put the blood gel stuff on the fridge. I did that before. I wanna do it. You wanna do it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. You got the, the blood stickies. And then these things go outside, but here I don't think we have an outlet. Um, so I gotta figure that out. Gotta put an extension cord from the garage and drag it out. More spider webs and so yeah, we've got a bunch of different stuff in here. A lot of these like uh, like I don't know. I might chuck 
that stuff out. There's ones like uh, made for like coat hangers looks like. I think I got that at like a flea market. There's another one over here like a ghost one. It's a little junky on that stuff, but and then some of these masks and the gloves. But yeah, I don't know, different stuff. Where's the little uh, little thing that turns this on? There we go. It's kind of cool, but, you know. So we got a few things going. We're working it out. You gonna put them on the fridge? Yeah. Can you reach? I can reach. <laughs> I'm just being a jerk. There you go. Gonna make sure it's not all stuck together. Plop it on on there. There you go. Like a big girl. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what a jerk. I know. All right, we're going to figure out where to put some of this other stuff, and we will see you later, and we'll probably make a Starbucks trip, and then watch Cult of Chucky and let you know our thoughts on it. Bye. So my little helper right here just designed all the blood work up. You want to go ahead and show your, your artwork, your masterpiece right here? Here's the fridge. A little Vanna White-esque. And, <laughs> and the freezer. And, and then the, the microwave. Help. Help, help. Mm -hmm. And the dishwasher that we never use. But there you go. <laughs> Very nice. And as far as the rest of the stuff, I don't know. It's like a junk pile. I feel like I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. And maybe get rid of that witch thing. And I don't know. Like some of these ones are a little junky. But time for new stuff. Time for new stuff. We got a few good things though. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, uh, I think we're going to. Get ready to, I'm gonna go uh, hop in the shower and then I think we're gonna hit up uh, Starbucks. Starbucks! Starbucks and food. And get some food. Is that a skeleton on the toilet? Yeah, it is. I used to have this on my uh, bathroom door. I think it's freaking awesome. I love it. I gotta find somewhere to put this, I guess on a bathroom door, another one. One of the ones in here. But I dig the heck out of this one. What about the one downstairs? Maybe. That could be a good idea. It's pretty long. So we found out that these ones work. The Boo one did not work, so we had to chuck that. But these ones look awesome. What do you think? I like them. We should put them outside. We are going to. I just got to figure out how to get an extension cord from the garage. Yeah. And we'll be set. But I dig those ones. Awesome. Such a masterpiece. <laughs> but I made them all. <laughs> and then over here. Oh, I also hung that skull and put these little guys over here. <laughs> oh my god, you're so gross. And then I told him to hang these here. That was already there, the curtain. He's such a camera hog. Looks good, right? Uh, yeah, I like it in What's here. your favorite one? Nope, that one we don't like. I don't like that one, he's creepy. All right, yeah, just hump his face, it's totally fine. We are definitely going here. All kinds of awesome stuff. All right, so we just got in, or got back from Starbucks. And we got the pumpkin hot chocolate. Yes. What do you think of it? It's delicious. It's like the right amount of chocolatey and pumpkin-y. A great pumpkin spice. Yes. Now this year they don't have the pumpkin uh, whipped cream, which is what they have sometimes. And they put nutmeg on the top, but they just had the pumpkin syrup this time. But I think it's actually banging. And I don't do espresso or coffee anymore. So it just makes my heart race. Uh, and I think a <laughs> lot of people would appreciate them marketing this. Like they always do the pumpkin... Um, like latte, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they should market the pumpkin hot chocolate. They never do. It's like, you know, secret item menu kind of thing. <laughs> but they can put the pumpkin syrup into anything, essentially. But uh, it's banging. And Starbucks is... I don't... Around. You can't really see it, but it's back there. <laughs> and we uh, showed you the wine and paint thing, which we're going to do soon. We're going to paint some pumpkins there. And that'll be fun. And drink some vino. I have to bring our own, it says. Oh, uh, it's BYOB for the vino. That's fine. Can okay. I bring beer then? I'll bring beer. Yeah. You can have wine. Okay. All right. Yay. Cheers. And try the pumpkin hot chocolate at Starbucks. I would recommend it. Would you? <laughs> yes, 100%. All right. All right, so we just got our Moe's and we got a whole bunch of goodies right there. So we're going to eat and drink, be merry, and then we're going to watch Cult of Chucky. Yeah. All right, so we just got back in from Moe's. We decided to uh, take it to go. And we got the Starbucks, and holy moly, this is so friggin' good. The pumpkin hot chocolate, oh my gosh. So good. Mm. Nom, nom, nom. And then nom, nom. there's mine right there. Got the like Crunch Wrap Supreme, but the Moe's edition. And from Starbucks, I got my uh, string cheese, because I'm a kid, and some Rice Krispie treats, which we're gonna have while watching Cult of Chucky. Yes. But how good is the friggin' pumpkin hot chocolate? I can't get over so it. So good. Oh my gosh, it gets better the more that you have of it. Oh, I could just bathe in it. Just, oh, incredible.
How does that, how does that make you feel? <laughs> it's making me think of what you were saying yeah. about it in the car. <laughs> when I was talking about in the car, I got a little bit more excited, but I was like, mmm, mm. it's making me invigorated. <laughs> But on that note, we're gonna we're gonna get our grub on, and then we're gonna watch Call the Chucky, and we will be back soon. And then after we watch Call the Chucky, we'll let you know our thoughts on it and do like a little review, and hopefully we'll enjoy it because I know I've been looking forward to it like I know you have too. Yeah. <laughs> we're both like looking for looking for it in the mail like every single freaking day. And finally, it was a huge day. Wait, how about when I thought it was at? I got <laughs> I got a package, and I thought it was Call the Chuck Chucky. I opened it up. I'm all excited. It was born in China. Born in China. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Very sad. But it was, that was, that's some pandas and snow leopards. It was a good Disney nature thing, yeah. but. You have my queso, I'm taking oh, it. Oh, you got queso thief. Queso. It All right. It's my queso. I was going to steal some. No. I'm a queso thief. You can't have it. I have a little bit. Where no. is Brad? I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, we will see you later. Charles. All right, we are back after like five hours. Andrea right there, she's showing the snacks that we got. We got uh, Peeps, Ghost Peeps, and then some Rice Krispie Treats from Starbucks. We went to uh, Starbucks, got some food. Then we came back and we played Cards Against Humanity with my roommate, and she's never played. So uh, then that was actually a lot of fun. Yes. And the, oh, the hilarity of the responses <laughs> to that, just awesome-tastic. But we are finally going to watch Cult of Chucky. I cannot friggin' wait. And I have got my beverage of the night right here, which is The Fear. It's Imperial Pumpkin Ale, 9% ABV. And it's from Flying Dog Brewery. So friggin' good. It's kind of spice forward, but I love the heck out of it. If you're into pumpkin beers, I would highly recommend The Fear Imperial Pumpkin Ale from Flying Dog. So that'll be my beverage of choice for the night. I already uh, had one before. We had some Jim Beam honey, honey, and you had the wine. Yes. Some vino, and we got the, the snacks going, and Cult of Chucky, it's going down. What do you think? Do you, is Glenn going to be back in this one? I hope not. I don't like him. It's weird. <laughs> it was definitely a very weird. It kind of... That was kind of the downfall for me for uh, Seed, but I definitely enjoyed Bri. That was a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, seeing how the characters interact because I do know Jennifer Tilly's back. I know Alex Vincent's back. Alex Vincent hasn't been in there. Well, he was in Curse of Chucky towards the end, but he hasn't actually had been a like a main character since the second Child's Play. Uh, his character, Andy Barkley, was in the third one, but it was a different actor. Um, so it's awesome. I love the lenticular slipcover. Let's do it. Call the Chucky. We'll be back after the movie and let you know our thoughts on it. Yay. Call the Chucky. Woohoo. And I look damn good in this fall weather pimping. <laughs> I had to. Uh, I, do you want them to see the full view of your little fall outfit? It, it, it looks good, but uh, I don't know. The camera might not be able to take such handsomeness in, in one frame. <laughs> How do you deal with me? I don't know. It's, it's, it's a hard life. It's a hard life. It's a hard life. All right. I was going to say something dirty. But nah, nah. Myself. And I've definitely decided that uh, Starbucks pumpkin hot chocolate is my new aphrodisiac. Holy moly. I could just pour it all over myself and just... Run naked down the streets. Anyways, too much information. Mm hmm Bye. Bye. We're about to watch Cult of Chucky. We popped in the Blu-ray. Here is the menu screen, and it gives you an option right here when you press play. Choose a version of the movie you wish to view. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got the rated version and the unrated version. Obviously, we want to do the unrated version. Yep. Yep. All right. Unrated version it is. It's go time. Woohoo! Boo! All right, so we just watched Cult of Chucky, and what did you think of it? I have mixed feelings. Um, the gore and all that stuff, the, the blood was really good. All the scenes like that, but they kind of lost me because they changed the rules around of the entire franchise. They just threw that junk right out the freaking window. I'm like, <laughs> you could have been doing this the whole freaking time. I feel like that idea where they, they change such a the whole freaking guideline and rules of the whole franchise, seven movies in total, six, the rules just out the window now. They could have been doing that the whole time. Now it's just like, it's craziness. And now they have like endless opportunities with what they did. So expect more sequels coming because that's the clear path now. Uh, basically, it started out though with... Um, Nika, the character uh, Fiona Dorf, uh, Brad Dorf's daughter, Brad Dorf, of course, is back again playing uh, the voice of Chucky, Charles Lee Ray, and um, she was the survivor 
of uh, the last one, uh, the Curse of Chucky. And uh, so she's uh, essentially convicted of killing everybody except for Alice and uh, the little girl. And so she's in an insane asylum in this one. And that's one of the things that I really enjoyed. I, Like I said before in the beginning, I love like hospital settings, but and snowy settings, that's like my favorite. And this actually had a snowy setting in here too. Um, so that was pretty cool. There's a lot of whites, a lot of like saturation. Uh, one thing I always say about movies with a snowy setting is the blood really pops on the white snow. And that was one of the things here, especially in the asylum too, because it's all white. So when there's any blood, it just really pops. But yeah, definitely the best gore effects of the whole franchise by far. The gore effects were freaking amazing. Some great epic kills, brutal kills. She was hiding her eyes. Yeah. I was like, no, watch this. <laughs> I was doing like clockwork orange, trying to get her oh, uh, eyes to open up. Um, but yeah, as the movie goes on, the kills get even more brutal. Uh, but that's the big thing. Like a lot of the cast and uh, from previous movies are back in here again. You know, already know Alex Vincent, and Jennifer Tilly are back, and they both have uh, you know decent roles, especially Alex Vincent. Uh, but there's some other characters who are back as well. I don't want to give that up. I actually, there's an after credit scene which was awesome. You kind of come to expect that now with uh, Curse of Chucky. So stay tuned for that with Call of Chucky. There's an after credit scene, and I did not see that coming. I thought that was awesome. Uh, but it's definitely uh, one of those things where uh, she was right. It completely changes the rules, and you know I love the gore effects. I love the kills, but the fact that they changed the rules is really kind of just caught me off guard. I'm like, you're just completely throwing everything out the window. Um, so I have mixed feelings on that big time. But what would you rate Cult of Chucky overall? Are you handing it to me? Yeah, I'm handing it to you. We're oh, going to do okay. some props right there. So um, I'm going to have to give it... Do the Vanna White. There you go. There you go. Okay. Um, an 8 or a 9 for the gore. And I guess for... Like everything else, I'm like, gonna have to just give an it overall this. score. Uh, all right, fine. So like a seven overall. <laughs> now you everything. changed your score last <laughs> before you were like you're you were like well, seven, then you went down to six. So yeah. now you're changing again to seven. I, I guess we'll keep it at seven since yeah, I can't. A seven out of ten. I can't have a two rating. A two what rating. You're like a the gore is an eight. Oh, you know, we're just doing as an seven. overall. All right, well then, overall a seven. Okay, overall a seven. All right, that's that's the most important part right there. Yeah, there should have been more Tiffany as a doll. Just yeah, that was definitely uh, something I was expecting as well. But yeah, Jeffrey Tilly's awesome. I think the cast did really well. Uh, in the beginning, there's uh, a character that Fiona Dorf meets there, a guy character, and that quickly escalated. <laughs> it's like that escalated very quickly. Oh, yes. But then right after that scene, I thought that was hilarious the way that it played out. Uh, one thing I thought was odd though, it's this giant building, this giant asylum. And there was like only one security guard, only two nurses, like one's a male one nurse doctor. and one doctor. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> like, so Chucky's just going in and out as he pleases, essentially. But uh, there's definitely some creepy moments in here. And again, the kills are amazing. Great practical gore effects. That's one thing that really shined here. Um, overall, for me, I'm going to give Cult to Chucky. It's going to be a eight for me. Uh, even though the rules really, that they, they changed the rules for the whole thing, that really kind of annoyed me um, because that, oh, it feels cheap the way that they did that. Uh, they could have done more options with it, especially with the cult aspect. There's so many opportunities that they could have done different new things instead of what they did, which I felt was kind of like a cop-out. Um, so that kind of annoyed me, but still, I love the setting. I love the actors. Um, I love, the, again, best gore effects, practical effects of the whole franchise, best kills of the whole franchise. Um, I love seeing the cast members who were back, the after credit scene, so all of that. And I love the franchise. I love Chucky. Um, so I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. If you're a fan of the Child's Play Chucky franchise, I would definitely recommend checking out Cult of Chucky. Even though, again, a big thing they did was they changed the whole rules, which will, will probably annoy some fans of the franchise. But for me, you know, you just got to go with it. Everything else I loved about the movie. Uh, the setting especially. Um, the awesome, epic, freaking brutal kill. So Cult of Chucky, 8 out of 10. I would recommend checking it out. And forgive my Jimmy Neutron hair right now. I have bedhead. 
Uh, one thing I too I wanted to say about this was uh, the picture quality and audio quality were top notch. Um, I thought uh, it looked really good on a home video, and there's some good special features on here. We watched some of the special features. Um, there's a feature commentary with director, writer, executive producer Don Mancini, and head puppeteer, associate producer Tony uh, Tony Gardner. And then uh, we didn't do the whole commentary thing. We watched the deleted scenes, which I think the deleted Ooh, scenes deserve to be yeah. deleted to, to be cut. But it's still nice to see the extra footage. Uh, we watched Inside, the Insanity of Cult of Chucky, Good Guy Gone Bad, the incarnations of Chucky, kind of going over all the different people involved in making Chucky come to life. There's a lot of people, a lot of animatronics going on, green screen stuff. Uh, the Dollhouse, which I thought was really cool, kind of like the family aspect for the Child's Play Chucky franchise. Again, Fiona Doroff is the daughter or Brad Dourif, who is, you know, Charles Lee Ray and the voice of all the, you know, Chucky throughout all the whole franchise. And then you also have um, the lead um, animatronics guy, and uh, like visual effects guy on there and his daughter. They're all talking about it. And then uh, the producer and um, the director, like everybody's just talking about, you know, their family life and how it was affected and how some of them are involved and just the whole aspect of that, which I thought was really cool. I mean, if you're a fan <laughs> of the franchise, I think you'll really appreciate um, all the special features in here. And I think it was really cool that they uh, showed the like, kind of behind the scenes and the people involved, uh, especially the family aspect. I like that a lot. So some uh, good overall uh, presentation and release from Universal. Yeah. Still enjoyable overall, even though yes. they changed the rules. So yes. there you go. That was our uh, thoughts of Cult of Chucky. If you've seen Cult of Chucky, definitely let us know what you think of it. And let us know what your favorite sequel is of the Child's Play Chucky franchise. Leave us a comment or a video response down below. And that was our uh, movie day of <laughs> Cult of Chucky. You know, we went out. We decorated some uh, Halloween stuff, got some food, Starbucks, definitely tried the pumpkin hot chocolate, and definitely <laughs> check out Call of Chucky. I think it was worth the wait, and I think it still deserved a th uh, wide theatrical release along with Curse of Chucky. Hopefully this does well on home video, and the next sequel coming out will get a theatrical release. Like I said, you know, the Bye Bye Man, the, the recent Rings movie, all the Paranormal Activity movies, Saw movies, Annabelle movies, they can all get theatrical releases child's play can too it's an established franchise with a horror icon chucky so yeah and it's just a fun time it's still got the humor there it's not over the top like previous sequels like bride and seed just the right amount like the normal ones before that it has that same kind of humor but the gore oh the practical effects <laughs> oh the kills oh the setting the acting love it but the rules out the window still enjoyable as heck call for chucky check it out take care bye. say bye bye